Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking a look at whether NFL 2K5 is playable with BTSX2 within RetroArch. Now, I've learned my lesson when it comes to sports games, so I think, if it's possible, uh, I'm just going to let... Oh. Oh. I thought I didn't close RetroArch, so that it wasn't going to boot up the games. <laughs> Never mind. All's good. Yeah, I've learned my lesson. I think I'm just going to leave it to the CPU to, uh, you know, show off how the game plays instead of my dumbass. The VI Virtual Identity Profile. Really? VIP1. Select my favorite team. Where's the I don't have one? What, what do we got? Raiders. I, I quite like Raiders and, you know, Fallout. Sure. Doo -doo -doo. Uh... Wait, how do I, how do I back out? <laughs> there we go. Quick game. There we go, can I just do that? Start game. Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Here we go on ESPN. We knew he was a great defensive tackle, but fullback, tight end, is there anything more? Oh, there we go, we can skip it. Packers, Raiders. Raiders. Of tailgaters arriving early this morning. These fans are primed and ready for the game. Ooh. Hi there, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to the Oakland Coliseum. My colleague here in the commentary booth is Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have a solid. Oh, I can't actually uh, skip it. Takes a while to get into it, like. Side of the ball, we've got another top performer. Nick Barnett is a very impressive inside linebacker. You know, for a big man, he's got him. Okay, so it dropped down to 45 BS on the like initial load up. It seems to have buffed out. We'll see what it's like when it gets to game. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. Do you see this coin? And it's gone. Hey! Okay. Come on. Sebastian Janikowski kicking off. There's the, the signal, and we're ready. It's time for Raider football. Janikowski kicks it. The only downside is when you're playing, um. No, when it's CPU to versus CPU, then you're basically, obviously, you're just spectating. So the camera angles are completely different. The Packers offense will start this drive at their own 20 yard line. But I don't think that really matters. See, it dips quite a bit there. It seems even when it's com v com, um, it doesn't matter. The whistle still goes off every few seconds. Boom! Ooh! That was pretty rough. Down. 
Green gets the call again and barely picks up the first down. Mm. Amon Green can thank his blockers first for that last Packer. play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. Nice second down first call and, and they will To be fair, there's not really much else that happens. Aside from, you know, they play for five seconds and then the whistle goes off. Ooh, he missed. Yeah, it seems pretty good. It has some dips here and there, but they're so they're very minor. It's kind of like a bit of an audio hitch. That's like what it sounds like. So it, I wouldn't say it's not noticeable because it definitely is. But if you didn't have the FPS counter up, it would be a lot harder to tell. But that's the same for most games that have slight dips. Yeah, it seems it seems pretty good. That's all I can really say. Um, I highly doubt no, that was weird. I highly doubt performance would change all that much if you're actually a player character or a playable team. But I'm not sure. I'm just gonna have to just go off of the assumption that it won't be any different. But if I'm wrong, you know, then I'm wrong. I'd have to say that NFL 2K5 is playable. I suppose with minor issues, but they're so... The dips don't go down much. It's like 5 FPS at max. That's why I'm like, I don't know, is it... Is it really any anything noteworthy? Yeah, I would just say it's it's playable. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, leave suggestions for games you want to see. And until next time, take care.